Hi, hi, this is Wayne Kranz again. Um, and I want to pre present to you today a concept that I call the theme model. What it assumes is that you would generate a graphic for presentation purposes that embodies your entire presentation. Uh, if you uh, write a three theme statement for an academic paper or for uh, uh, some study that you do or even for a dramatic presentation, uh, people typically write a statement of two or three sentences describing that work as a kind of a summary. Uh, and uh, the theme model concepts does the same thing. What it does is, is have you produce a visual aid or a graphic that represents or embodies your whole presentation. Now, to illustrate this, uh, I'm going to very quickly go through what I call the three classics of all times. Uh, the first is Abraham Maslow's Hierarchy of Human Needs, which is the most quoted visual aid in history on any topic. Uh, and then uh, uh, Eric Byrne and the people and, and gurus of uh, transactional anal analysis, the three circle TA model, which is a very highly published model. And then lastly, the product life cycle that was uh, written about, well, it's been written about by about everyone, but most uh, prominently by Theodore Levitt in the book Imag uh, 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 Imagination. Uh, these three visuals are, in my study, the three biggest there are. Abraham Maslow, of course, used the pyramid and he divided that pyramid into five levels. The first uh, level is physical. Now I'm using the simple words. He used longer words in this. Physiological needs being the first level of needs. So, but I'm gonna say physical. Your physical needs. And, and what Maslow taught was that once the physical needs were met, then you would uh, move up the hierarchy uh, into safety needs, uh, uh, which is, there's an E in safety in there. Um, the safety needs, in other words, the first thing that the primitive person, the primitive human being wanted to do was be, uh, have his food and clothing and shelter covered and then the Second thing was safety from people who would uh, take what uh, could cause him harm and that sort of thing. And after that were the uh, social social needs, and then after that, esteem needs, and finally the I'm just going to write S A up there, uh, which rep represents self-actualization. Now, this has been the theme, and that's what I'm teaching you here, is the theme model concept. This one visual aid represents the entire career of Abraham Maslow. Everything he taught, and he taught books full, was based on this pyramid. In other words, it became his theme. Um, the, uh, the second one that I mentioned uh, is uh, Eric Byrne and the three circle uh, parent, adult, child, uh, ego state model taught by the whole transactional analysis, uh, uh, that whole movement and many writers uh, took this model and expanded on it. And so this was the central theme of just about all transactional 
analysis teaching, uh, which included about seven or eight bestsellers at one time or another. Uh, I'm okay, you're okay, passages, uh, games people play, and some of these other books. Uh, it was prolifically taught from the mid 1960s through through the mid 90s. It wasn't until some of the modern mm, pop psychology movements like uh, uh, Dr. Phil and uh, whatever came into being that this that this model uh, uh, moved to the back seat. Uh, another visual aid that I included in the, in the three classics is uh, the bell curve of um, the bell curve of the product life cycle, which uh, uh, it went something like this, uh, and it divided into three categories or four categories. The first is in introduction, and then the growth, and then maturity. and then decline. Now, the, these four phases here uh, represent the stages that every pot product goes through in that life cycle of that product from its original introduction, its original growth, and then as it, as it comes up and peaks out into maturity and ultimately into decline. Now, this visual aid is, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to use the word, classic. By classic, I mean that every business school anywhere takes you through this. It is fundamental to marketing in general and, and in sales. Now, I have my own little qualms with some, some of the implication, but it doesn't really have anything to do with how I think about this thing but it has to do with the fact that this is so classic to teaching in virtually every, matter of fact, I've seen this applied to hotel motel development, shopping center development. I've seen it even applied to, to infrastructure like the water system that's in your city has all had the, this fundamental principle applied to it. And that's why I'm talking to you about a concept called developing a theme model for your own message and then that model becomes the core of everything that you teach virtually from now on you can literally as Maslow did make a entire career out of one visual aid he did it and the people in uh, in TA they just expanded on Burns original model and a little bit and and built their careers, not one, but hundreds of teachers of TA. And, and of course, the, uh, the core teaching that comes out of the product life cycle uh, that uh, Dr. Ted Levitt taught us and, and others, uh, Boston Consulting Group and whoever else was involved in developing this model, it is so core to teaching in this idea of building one. Now, I'm gonna suggest to you that you begin right now to think about your own topic in terms of a single visual aid. Now, I'm gonna hasten to say right now because this leads into our next video. Uh, I lied to you about the one visual. You need the one visual very badly and you should develop it, begin to develop it yet today. One visual that embodies your whole presentation. But I'm gonna show you how a cadre or some more visual aids can play into this thing in the next video. Uh, go to waynecrons.com uh, to ensure that you don't miss any of these uh, valuable uh, lessons about the use of visual aids in your own speaking and teaching. And thank you very much.